Y'all, I think I did it. This is with goat cheese. It is cheesecake, or at least my first attempt at making a cheesecake. Crust looks great, but I won't know how it turned out until tomorrow. Because this has to go into the refrigerator and chill at least overnight. Ooh. A little bit of bounce. <sighs> oh yeah. I might have just made my first cheesecake ever. And it might be a success. <laughs> the abyss has eyes. And its eyes are green. <laughs> What, Maggie? What? Don't worry. No worries. It is a Monday. It's a Monday. Oh, let me. If there's one thing that my birds have been appreciating that's keeping the uh, bowls we have set out for them for water going. Yeah, the water is not getting, whoops, all the way around my poor lilac here. actually has started to bloom. Yes, I'm excited about it. It's almost completely green. <clears throat> Maggie. But it is time for watering plants. As of April 10th, which was yesterday for me, I'll be a week for you guys when you see this. I have been here on the homestead for a year now. We've been here for a year now. That's amazing. Oh. We were gluing that together to be able to keep using it and I don't think we're going to be able to keep using it. Make sure that's off. That's full. I see you, burb. I do have to reset all of my mouse traps, unfortunately, so... <sighs> It's a hazy day today in the valley.
Not much on Tuesday. Um, welcome to Wednesday's portion of the vlog. Last night, it got below freezing. Didn't lose any plants though. Today's Wednesday. I think, yeah, I told you to get that. I told you guys that already. As you can see, just doing some food prep stuff. Um, sounding like we're going to have a trip to El Paso segment of this vlog on Friday. In the meantime, I'm going to make a list of stops. Make sure my uh, farther than an hour from home bag is in order. And other stuff. Other stuffs. Now, before anyone makes a comment about why would your husband buy one of these, we have a massive um laminate floor section. This takes a job that would normally be 20 minutes with a normal broom and turns it into five. Unless, of course, I'm trying to sweep around certain kitties who have decided they're going to attack it. No, yeah. stay away from the dirt pile. If I switch hands, it gets a little bit easier. Yes, unfortunately, I'm a righty. I'm not a lefty. I'm talking about dominant hand goobers. You wanted to play with it? You want to play with it now? Huh? Shall we play with it now? 
Così. <laughs> You're the one who chased after it earlier, now you don't want to? Huh? What am I gonna do with you? Ouch. Alright, time to try to get this done. So, while cleaning our workshop, my husband finds these, which are, well, a lot of folks use them for book binding for the covers, but they're in remarkably great shape, actually. I could probably get a pocket-sized notebook and two A5s out of that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. He. It might have gotten a little cold last night. It still is a little cold in here. Welcome to Thursday. Friday's the El Paso trip. Yay.
Good morning, crew. It is Friday, and there is not an El Paso trip happening, most likely. All because I unpacked and repacked my purse. find a ponytail holder and a second cup of coffee. again on the bok choy but it's at least warm enough now to where it will sprout Yep, there are mouse traps everywhere. Because those little assholes will eat my tomatoes without second guess.
guys are silly. <laughs> we didn't go to El Paso today. <laughs> kind of glad because I... Yeah. Yeah, no, I did not have the energy for it today. Um, we aren't going to El Paso at all. That person has completely just ghosted Dave. So, he was actually going to uh, just the other side of Sierra Vista and the, to drop off a down payment for a bike. And then when we get the remaining half of the money... We'll be going to Fort Huachuca and bringing home his bike. Saturday, obviously. My entire yard smells like lilac over here. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. Fake lilac smell gets nowhere close to real lilac smell. Nowhere near. Well, because of uh, getting smacked by a deer Friday night, Dave is taking the motorcycle up to Phoenix. <sighs> I'm fairly certain this all reads how I feel about that, but the Hyundai is just not at a point now where it can make that kind of a trip. Um, the AC and the heating aren't working in it, so we're either going to get that fixed or just use the car for as long as we can and sell it for parts. But let me show you guys something awesome. I have got six regular white cabbage and six Chinese cabbage. Fairly certain they're Napa cabbage, but for those of you wondering what kind of bike my husband got, it is a touring 
style motorcycle because that has the best gas mileage. And it's what's going to work best for us. By the way, that drone you're hearing from the bees, pretty certain those are all Africanized bees. The thing that most people don't realize about the Africanized bees is that as they have bred over the generations, they've started to mellow out. Because if you're an aggressive hive, most likely an overly aggressive hive, would have been completely eradicated. Um, so, you've got much calmer bees now. Whether or not I can set up some hives and they'll populate them, I honestly don't know. Going into beekeeping is not something that is on my agenda. <laughs> Mostly because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of heartbreak. Uh, when your hives don't make it. And here in the area, there are things that love bees just as much as what there are in the rest of the country. It's written all over my face about how I feel about him writing, isn't it? <laughs> it was the best bet. Like I said, uh, I think it was earlier in the vlog, it's going to take a $400 a month estimated transportation fuel cost and cut it down to about $240. And when you're on a homestead, that counts. All of that counts. Choctaw, however, is incredibly upset about that. She was actually wine barking and just... She wanted me to let her out of the gate so she could chase after daddy because she does not like that bike. She doesn't trust it. <laughs> Alright, let me give you guys another little bit of a garden update here. We've got broccoli now. The strongest of my broccoli starts sprouted. Jalapenos. The basil's doing good. The snap peas. I'm still working on trying to figure out where I'm going to put those guys. Garlic. Green onion. I've got a few more broccoli here, but I need soil before I can plant these guys. These are super Sioux. Um, heirloom tomatoes. This one didn't make it. There's another seed that's come up. These guys might all make it. We've got our Roma here. Already putting on fruit. The mint's doing okay. Butternut squash on these two. If you hit that trap, I've got so many lizards out right now. Our serrano's doing good. This, for those of you curious, is supposed to become basically a spinach bush. So, stay tuned to see how this one turns out. And we've got my cherry tomato right here, which is doing absolutely fantastic. As you can well see right there. I actually have to prune this one probably tomorrow. But that's a garden update. That is the garden update for you guys. <laughs> now, Dave being an older man, you know, he doesn't bounce as well as he used to. <laughs> But that does not mean that he does not know what he's doing. He is taking his time. Um, he had a very good instructor for his motorcycle class. And the more competent he becomes with his bike, the less I'm going to worry about it. Um, things like the tire, back tire sliding, um, becoming competent with the bike um, in terms of understanding oh shoot I'm about to lay it out flat <laughs> he was actually out here in the driveway 
I'll put a picture in of what happened to his shoulder. Um, and went to slide the tire just a little bit so that he could work on regaining control. And he gave it too much do juice. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he learned that lesson. <laughs> also laid it out flat at a, com at a while at a complete stop trying to make a turn. All before owning the bike for more than 10 hours. I had told him that was going to happen. I never reached a point of being competent enough or comfortable enough to ride bikes myself. Uh, I always rode with another person, but... That was just because I was never in a position to be able to take the time to get a class and get the learning done. The next vehicle, though, we're going to be getting here on the homestead is going to be a 4x4 four four, four-wheeler for me and a trailer for it. Because a lot of the things that I need to do here on the homestead, I can't get cranking on just yet because I need something to haul tools and dirt. Several things I need to do involve dirt, and the drainage ditch right here has a lot of loose dirt in it that I can use for these projects. But I don't have a way to haul them. So, that is going to be it for this particular vlog, guys. I'm just going to take the rest of the day off and relax and listen to music. Today was supposed to be a slob day for me and Dave, but that's not how things worked out. Um, so, he's going to be back home probably either tomorrow night or Tuesday night. And for those of you on the crew who celebrate Easter, I hope it has been a very, it was a very blessed and quiet Easter for you. For those in the crew who do not, um, if you have a holiday you celebrate today, or on this Easter holiday that is not Easter and it's not Ostara, I'd be curious to hear about it. It'd be nice to, it'd be neat to see. So, as always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today, and I will catch you guys in the next upload, which is most likely going to be a vlog. Take care. Hug your loved ones tight.